most of those who identify themselves as uh, transhumanists. I guess they would not uh, really agree very much with anything that I'm saying here. <laughs> as you say, there is a quite uh, kind of a knee-jerk reaction whenever they hear uh, something that sounds too much like religion. So resurrection, for example, is not a very widely shared hope among transhumanists, and that's an example of something that sounds too religious to them? Yes. Okay. Um, we do, I mean, there are uh, a lot of transhumanists who do like to talk about these things, like to contemplate these ideas. But uh, I think I can safely say that most uh, transhumanists have a knee-jerk reaction as soon as they hear something that sounds like religion. I think that has a psychological explanation depending on, you know, bad experiences that they had with organized religion. Mm -hmm. I very much understand that. Things that, uh, I mean, since I don't have a religious background, I don't have... I never had bad experiences with organized religion simply because I didn't have any experiences with organized religion, you see what I mean? So, uh, sounds like kind of paradoxical thing that the fact that I don't come from a religious background uh, allows me to take, religious, to take religion seriously now, okay. you see what I mean? Uh, I do. Now, you've described yourself, I think, uh, as a theist, which surprises me. I still don't understand. I mean, I think of a theist as someone uh, who believes that, you know, uh, the universe is in some sense a product of some intelligence out there um, that created it. And I haven't heard you say anything that would necessarily indicate that. So in what sense are you a theist? No, I'm going to get into that. Okay. Uh, so okay, so I was uh, uh, discussing the Mormon Transhumanist Association. I want to mention that there is a much more recent uh, Christian Transhumanist Association, which was uh, established a couple of years ago, and uh, it's very interesting because you know in Mormonism there are some very evident parallels with uh, transhumanism that come from the fact that uh, the Mormon uh, God uh, is... N mm, I mean, you don't have to call him a supernatural God, hmm. because you can interpret the Mormon God as uh, a very advanced being that has emerged uh, uh, naturally from the universe. I am uh, very careful with the wording because I want to say things in a way that both my friends in the Mormon Transhumanist Association and the Mormon communi community at large wouldn't strongly disagree with. So in some sense, the concept of God in Mormonism is a natural concept of God. Is something, of course, much more powerful than us, who has achieved uh, godhood through natural means, including science and technology. That's something that you can read very clearly in some of the Mormon uh, scriptures. And even more than that, uh, the founders of Mormonism themselves, Joseph Smith himself, said that uh, we ourselves have a potential to become like God in the future and what God wants is for us to become like him, hmm. which is an extremely powerful concept, I think, mm -hmm. and is a very transhumanist one, is really the foundation of religious transhumanism. Now, yeah. do you find the same things in mainstream Christianity, question mark, most people would answer no. But as a matter of fact, uh, the folks in the Christian Transhumanist Association can give you a lot of examples from the scriptures that seem to imply that the answer should be yes. As a matter of fact, 
you can interpret uh, Christianity that way. I wrote an article a few months ago called uh, Christianity and the Transhumanism are more similar than you think. Um, it is a meaningful interpretation of Christianity, one in which uh, uh, God wants uh, humans to help and assist in his work to remake the universe and resurrect the dead. And you can think that what God wants is for these things to happen through human agency. We would be doing God's work on behalf of God, mm -hmm. including remaking the universe and resurrecting the dead is not a very widely held interpretation of Christianity and uh, you know many people would say that what I'm just saying is a very heretic uh, proposition but is not incompatible with at least some of the Christian scriptures and in fact there are a lot of Christian theologians uh, whose uh, uh, works uh, you can really read in that way I could mention uh, Wolfhard Pannenberg or John Polkenhorn. Uh, you know, they all oh. said uh, things uh, kind of comparable. They did not exactly say the same things uh, that I'm saying. I don't want to put words in their mouth. But I think what I just said is compatible with uh, things that have been written by leading and very respected Christian theologians.